what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video we're going down to Antarctica we're in the past 72 hours a very large in fact it's 60 square miles a large iceberg has broken off near the Brunt Basin along the coast of Antarctica it's drifting to the northeast we're going to take a look at it on zoom earth as it's detaching itself from the ice shelf here in Antarctica thing is 60 square miles wide capable of holding millions of people it's that large and it's nearly 500 feet thick I also found this area not far from the giant iceberg looks like the jolly green giant took a big step down here along the coast of Antarctica also in this video I've got a brand new picture slideshow new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world but first here at the website checking out the Schumann resonance you can see there's been a large spike in activity in the Schumann resonance and a and a low background vibration see that that's been there now for several days but we've got a large spike in the last actually 12 hours that energy also showed up over here in the K index as we saw a very strong G2 class solar storm that was kind of a surprise that lasted the better part of nine hours six hours as a very strong geomagnetic storm that lit up the skies in the northern latitudes you can see a photo over here at spaceweather.com skies turned bright green in Alberta Canada and all over the the northern latitudes basically last night and early this morning you can see the storm over here as the interplanetary magnetic field tilted south and anytime doesn't matter what time of the year it is anytime the the interplanetary magnetic field tilts south that means the magnetic shields are basically wide open for the intrusion of solar wind that will definitely spark auroras and at times like this time here created a, a fairly strong geomagnetic storm right now we're looking at two new coronal holes facing the earth there's one that's now turning away over here at the SDO got another one behind it both of those streams of high-speed solar wind will be reaching the earth in the next 72 to 96 hours and there's a pretty good chance that we could see even more beautiful northern lights up in the northern latitudes and depending on the strength of the high-speed solar wind sometimes those northern lights dip down into the the mid latitudes we'll just have to wait and see also I want to show you something here at the solar dynamics observatory got what looks like a, a freak filament over here on the right hand side of the Sun this would be the the western limb of the Sun get a load of that thing would you that is absolutely massive and if you watch this departing sunspot up there do you see that right there that was a c-class solar flare so solar activity is definitely on the uptick hopping over to the yellowstone supervolcano caldera you can see we've still got that persistent energy along the northern rim a little bit of localized earthquake activity showing up at the Holmes Hill seismograph over here at the mighty supervolcano caldera but other than that everything is pretty much what we've been seeing on a daily basis now for the past several weeks looking at the global seismographs all in all pretty quiet got a little bit of activity down in the South Pacific from a recent 5.4 and a 5.8 earthquake but nothing major overall the global seismographs are fairly quiet kind of like what we're seeing over here at the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera now I want to take you guys down to Antarctica story here from livescience.com goes on to say giant crack frees a massive iceberg in Antarctica a giant iceberg more than 20 times the size of Manhattan just split off from Antarctica's Brunt ice shelf and that's the location right here I showed you guys at the beginning of the video on Google Earth when we go to zoom earth you're going to be able to see this very large iceberg start to slowly detach and also not far from that area of what looks like a giant footprint in the ice along the coast of Antarctica but back to the iceberg a giant iceberg they're saying more than 20 times the size of Manhattan it may not be quite that big but either way it's still a very large iceberg just split off from Antarctica's Brunt ice shelf this dramatic breakup comes after a major crack formed on the shelf in November of 2020 and continued to grow until the berg finally broke off Friday morning on February the 26th the iceberg is slowly drifting to the northeast right up in through here and they're saying based off of the measurements of the iceberg 
that this thing is approximately 490 square miles. Again, if this thing were a piece of land, it could hold millions of people. And you can see it right here. This is an image over here at Zoom Earth. You can see the crack here uh, running north and south and then here to the east and west. This is February 24th during the a.m. When we step it forward to the p.m., you can kind of see, if you can look beyond the cloud cover, you can see the cracks are a little bigger than they were in the morning. See what I mean? Obviously, it's clearer, so you can have a better view of the crack, but pay attention to this one here and here. I'm going to step it forward to the p.m. See how it moved? That is the one that detached and is now floating freely out in the ocean. We followed an iceberg a few weeks back that drifted off into the northeast and found its way up into Drake Passage. And we will, like we did the last iceberg, try to follow this one as long as we can, weather permitting over here at Zoom Earth, which is in near real time. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photo sent in from all around the world. Carlos Skywatcher out of Portugal. Yet another amazing sunset by Carlos out of Portugal, looking out over the Atlantic Ocean. Great job, Carlos. Once again, another spectacular sunset by Carlos Skywatcher. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel at Carlos Skywatcher at YouTube. Look at this one here, gigantic sun sitting on the back end of a crane. How about that? Connie B out of Eugene, Oregon. She said this looked like a big V structure up in the sky, and indeed it does. Craig B, Sarasota, Florida, massive roll cloud out over the Gulf. Lodi, California, D, Houston, very interesting sky there at sunset. David Y, another fiery orange sky at sunset. Bright orange clouds, very low, almost look like they're touching the ground in some places. Great photos, not exactly sure of the location. I know they were, they were shared with me by David Y. Here we've got some colorful clouds up in the proximity of the sun. Obviously in the atmosphere, not near the sun. Jason D, photo here of what looked like an angelic being. Beautiful cloud up in the sky, glowing orange cloud. Next photo here was sent in by Polenta. Do you see why she took the photo? There's a number two, what looks like a number two, up in the clouds. Here it is rotated once to the right. I've simply enhanced the photo, didn't alter it, and there's the number two. That's what compelled her to take the photograph of this very unique sky. What an observation. I don't know how she saw that. Maureen out of Boston. More colorful clouds in the proximity of the sun. Derek out of Poland noticed a multitude of what look like halos in the sky. One around the sun and you've got one actually two above the sun and on both sides of the large halo that's very low on the horizon. Great photo out of Poland, David K, Huntington Beach, California. Spectacular, very bright colored rainbow extending all the way down to where it looks like it's coming up from directly behind the house. Great observations, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the website at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery. And sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. Yeah. Be safe out there.